This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Good morning to you wherever you're watching from around the world. Great to have your company. It is the Super 5 stage of the European Cricket Series Portugal. Vinny Sander here with you on a beautiful Saturday morning here on the Algarve. The Santorum Cricket Ground, pretty as a picture. And we're heading into five more matches today. We're starting with a match between Oerash and Fighters CC. Anyway, here we go with Sahota opening the bowling. And this is going to be a misfield for four to get us going well. The fighters were hoping that they were going to turn a corner this morning. There's your first boundary. So Hot has made a remarkable recovery. He was struggling last night. Now this is short and it's wide. That's going to be another four. Now this is short, wide. This is hit even further. Maximo! Not great signs early. A little bit short, Conrad, he'll be able to punch it in much a similar fashion that Barton Horse did earlier in the over. The first one goes magical, so hot up, done for 20. This is hit straight, Barton Horse. He's got a very good bat, and unfortunately for the bowler, Parvinda, he's come on. He's been struggling a little bit with his shoulder. That won't help because that has been absolutely tattooed out of the ground. Now short, wide, hit, six more, Maximo. And that'll be six more, Maximo. Oh, a little bit of a French cut here. That'll probably roll down the hill for four more. So Barton Horse, bit of luck here. Fraction short. That hasn't been working too well. Green Shields goes large. Bale, 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 manos arriba. Arbitro porque eso es seis carreras. Fraction short. And you can set your watch to it. If it's halfway down, the ball's going to disappear over the ropes. Maximo. Oh, this is another one would have been a big wide, but Bunhorse hits it down the ground. He's going to get four. Uh, this one is pitched up, it's kind of in the slot, and it's going to fly. Maximo! Button horse to 38. And now he's bowled. That's a lack of pace that does Green Shields. Comes walking down the pitch. But credit to the bowler because I haven't had too much to shout about so far. Gravinda comes on, and he gets one to go across Conrad Green Shields. So it would have been a wide. Instead, Vishwakarma turns on it, puts it over the fence. Maximo! Good start for Rahul. As Vishwakarma goes bang, Maximo! Up and out of here. Right, this is another one that he tries to grab from outside the off stump. I think he learns the lesson there, Vishwakarma. I know he gets a couple out of the screws, but... Yeah, holding his shape a bit longer required. I wonder if some of the other teams are taking notes here with Oera struggling against some kind of slower bowling. A little bit. Anyway, Barton Horse is going to reach his 50 and he's going to do it in style. Maximo! Gorilla does get a second over. This is hit straight and good placement as well. It's going to be four runs. The wild card, as this is a hang full toss, Barton Horse puts this away. Maximo, six runs. Well, this is in the air and gone. So, Barton Horse won't get close to the ton today. He's a pretty unselfish guy, though, Brendan. He'll know he's done his job. He's done it very well. Gives Faf a little wink and says, right, you go on with it. Probably not the best choice that, that time. Hanging edge, well held there. Faf Stoman. Trying to establish himself here. Pretty well located delivery. Straight to the field. About off his kneecap. Runs away and runs away for four. Well, that's the second one we've seen this morning. Kumar. Goes straight to this time. And Faf gets a good swing on it. Up and out of here. Maximo. 
That's his shot. And we've seen sometimes the ball not really coming through or coming onto the bat this morning. Now, this one's a fraction short. Tries to pull it. It's going, it's going, and it will go. Maximo. Now, a bit short. Hits it over cover. That's going to go as well. Maximo. Well, there's Paolo. Oh, pockets out for the weekend. 30 runs per innings. More on average. Right now, Pafs Doman. He's up and ticking. This is just what he needed. Debuted on ECN. Now, this is a nice shot. And you can see there, technique really good. Kind of stays side on. This is a really nice shot as well. He walks at this and crunches it all the way along the carpet. Stoman looking very dangerous. Right, this is a hanging edge, and that's going to fly over the field. Not too dissimilar to how Bardenhorst went a little while ago. Right, this time there's enough bat to get it over. As Miguel Stoman will just get this away. And it just carried the rope Maximo to finish the over. All right, here we go with over number nine. It starts with a blast down the ground. Maximo! Played away, and Stoneman reaches his 50. Stoneman brings up his 50 and 15 balls. 33 conceded off 10. Uh, this is going to get around the fielder, and it'll run away for four. It uh, goes straight. Probably needed to go offside there, but he's going to get away with it. You can see the power there of Paf Stoneman. He had his time over again. I think this is a ball he should be hitting over cover. Now lifted up over the leg side, gets a fair piece of wood on that. That's going to be six as well. Maximo. It's been a good exhibition of hitting from Oeras. Drags this leg side as well. That's in the gap. That'll be four. So one, eight, nine. That will be the final score. Stoneman will finish on 70, not out of 22. Ready to go. So Hotta is opening up. And Gurlau Singh getting an opportunity at the top of the order. So obviously Gurlau coming in as a, re a bit of a, a replacement player. So he gets a chance. Sinead Khan opens up. It's called quarter wide. Oh, so Hotta, he's hit this and he's hit straight to point. So he's going to have to go. Faf Stoneman takes the catch, and Janae Khan has another wicket. He's a guy, one of the few that have 100 plus wickets on the network. Janae, we'll get another one here. Sodden you, as soon as he hits it, it's down too far towards the bottom of the bat. And there's your first wicket. There's Govinda, who's going to come in, in the number three spot. And he just steps away and helps it on its way, and this will be another one. And would you believe it? Two in two. Almost like catching practice. He's hoping this goes a bit further, of course, with the pace of Junaid. And often, you're not really thinking about where the fielders are. Guruvinda, he's also going to go for a duck. Hat-trick ball for Junaid. As Parvinda plays the role of party pooper to perfection. Uh, in the air. Can anyone reach this? Probably not. Oh, almost. Let's bounce away from Macy. Well, watch out. You don't want to be the grass right now. Simon just kind of goes out a little bit and pretty well hit. Pavinda will get four here. This is on the stumps. Pavinda gives it both barrels and he's going to get six. Maximo. That's oh, a nice shot. Way to take him down there. Now, this is lifted up, and that is huge. Oh, what a shot. Now, the next one is hit, and hit hard. Wow. That's done the fence some damage. 
Booyah! Massive hit. This one slightly errant from Faustoman. And that's going to run away. Around the wicket. Gets absolutely hammered. What a shot by Parvinda. Well, there's an opportunity for these fighters batters to have one last chance at, at a bit of personal glory. Although a couple have missed out. Govinda, well, he's, he's certainly enjoying himself out there. Right, he's going to stay around, actually. Change his mind again. This is up, and that's over the top. Maximo! This one's on the stumps, just whipped away. And that's going to get over Wirakun out there. Maximo! Seis Carreras. All right, this one. He hits across a little bit. Hang in there. That's a simple catch. Button horse takes it. Easy as you like. And so it was an entertaining innings from Guru Lau. Got his opportunity, but he'll fall for 14. The third wicket falls now, and the score is 57 for three. Now he's going to be gone. So that's the end of his series. Simon hits the target. Maybe took a little bit off that one, but Pavinda gets castled for 44. Into the road for him. But uh, you've got to say, he's always a fun player to watch. Uh, this is a fraction short, and it's going to go the journey. Maximo! Well, the irony here is that Kuma actually watches this ball. It doesn't swing as hard, just makes good contact. So rather than trying to hit a world record six, he just plays the right shot. Just for Karma, gets a ball here with his left arm as this just evades the fielder. Cuatro Carreras. This is lifted up in the air and will be taken. Green Shields will cause Vishwakarma to get in the wickets column. Bilal goes for six and fighters. Story of their Super 5 so far. They'll lose the fifth wicket here. 79 for five. This is lifted up in the air and out of the ground. Maximo! With a couple to come in the over. This is in the air, but it's just wide of Barton Horse. That'll go for four. It's kind of catchable height, wasn't it? But wasn't straight at the fielder. Again, decent location there. Getting the batter to reach. And there's the Tortuga. And that's a really nice shot as well. It shows Kumar. It's not just a slogan. It's a proper shot. As this is lifted up, and that will be out of the ground. Maximo! Well, there you go. Nice bit of hitting. And this is hit pretty well as well. That'll be six. Maximo! So they finish on a high, but unfortunately for the fighters, they're not able to take a point out of the Super 5's campaign in any of their four matches, so they will bow out in fifth place. So now it's just a matter of who will manage to get in the top two at the end of the day. Oh, Arash, they get their first win in the Super 5 stage. It's a pretty comprehensive one. The final score here in match six of the Super 5's is Oh, Arash, 189, fighters 111.